shut the fuck up. <laughs> Welcome back. Today, before we start, I wanted to mention the situation going on here. So a few things have changed. We're starting to record on our or on my iPhone. We'll see how the quality is when I edit the videos. But we also bought this doohickey, this mic. Um, and this is the first time I'm using it for my videos, and we'll see how that works. But point is, this is like a learning process and hopefully we're getting better at our videos, but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that. So today we're going to be making a good, <laughs> today we're going to be making a shrimp Alfredo bake. I'm super psyched. I haven't made this in a really long time and I'm just ready for some carbs. Mm. So I'm going to show you what goes in it over here okay so this is what we have we have of course penne pasta some shrimp i went ahead and peeled them uh we have some milk parmesan and mozzarella cheese some flour we're not going to need a whole lot um some garlic butter salt pepper i have this um like italian seasoning uh, it has a bunch of different stuff in it, but it's like oregano, basil, chili, sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, onion. It's like it's like a bunch of stuff, but... This is bought at a farmer's market in San Francisco. Yeah? About two years ago? Might be a little expired? <laughs> Might be a little expired, but I'm going to use it anyway. All right. It's expired. We're going to use it anyway. <laughs> and I have some rosemary. And yeah, that, that's basically it. Oh, and I also have this uh, pan. So when we bake it, this is what's gonna go in. So over here, I have two pans going, or one pot and one pan. So I am salting my pasta water right now. And then in this one, I'm gonna cook up my shrimp. I'm waiting for that to heat up. I'm gonna put in some of my truffle olive oil because <laughs> I'm gonna be fancy. Kind of coat my pan a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my shrimp. And I'm gonna go ahead and season them with pepper, some salt, and that Italian seasoning. <laughs> that Jacob had. Ooh, I'm putting a lot in a little bit more rosemary because I'm obsessed with it. See if I can do it. <laughs> ah! I'm always so scared to do this. Come on, Jacob, do it. No. Do it. You asked to do it. Oh, I like to do this, but... Do it, Jacob. Nice. Nice. I feel like we looked exactly the same. Yeah. I wasn't saying anything. I just said I like to do it. What a turd. Thank you. Stop. Okay, so we're gonna heat these guys through. And then once we're done cooking them, which will literally only take five minutes, shrimp cooks really quickly. Um, we're gonna put it to the side and save it for later. And this water, is looking almost like it's ready to introduce the pasta. So it's bubbling. I'm gonna put the pie in now. Can you say that again? I'm gonna put the pie in now. Let's go put it in now. Other hand. Oh my god. <laughs> Your arm is in the entire frame. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. I I'm you sorry, people. I'm a terrible actress and Jacob doesn't speak up. What? That's enough. What? He's a terrible director. <laughs> put the pasta in the boiling water. I mean, you would have been able to see that if I'm going to put it wrong. Shut the, the fuck thing. up. Shut the fuck up. Hey guys, we're really organized in this kitchen. Shut the fuck up. Mix that around. Mix it around so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. So the shrimp looks like it's pretty cooked through. 
It's literally been five minutes, but we're going to transfer this into the bowl that I just cleaned, I swear. And we're gonna put it to the side and use it later, like I said. In the same pan that we cooked our shrimp, I'm gonna make our roux. So, what a roux is, is basically. Explain what a roux is, Emily. So, a baby kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joey, not even a roux. Ugh. Okay, anyway, <laughs> a roux is what's used to make like a liquid thick, basically. So like if you have, like what, do I, what I use roux for is usually when I make like a cheese sauce. So mac and cheese, cheese dip, Alfredo sauce. So basically it's just a combination of equal parts butter and flour, mm -hmm. and then you add like milk to it and then it like makes it thick and then you add the cheese so i'm just gonna let this melt down okay so while it's melting down i'm gonna go get my garlic i'm gonna use like that much <laughs> it's probably like two cloves i'm gonna let the garlic cook a little bit and then we're gonna start adding in the flour so when you add in the flour, you like constantly whisk so we put in four tablespoons of butter so we're gonna do four tablespoons a flower. Boop. One, two, three, four. Okay. Gotta move quick. Gotta move quick. Just whisk. It's gonna like form like this weird paste thing. I'm getting one cup. I'm gonna add three cups total. I, initially, I, I just wanna like put in one cup and like constantly stir as I pour it in, so. You see how thick it is? Yeah. Just adding a little bit at a time. Let's turn off, turning off the heat on our pasta is definitely done. Come look at, calm here. Calm look. I'm done. So this is what you should have now once you add it on all your milk. So now I'm gonna add in the cheese. So I have Parmesan cheese right here. I'm gonna add in. Oh my God. The, I mean, can you blame me? They look exactly the fucking same. It's rude. I'm gonna add in some parm. I'm adding in about a cup, question mark. I'm gonna mix and see how I'm feeling. But yeah, this is basically what Alfredo is. It's just like Parmesan cheese sauce, <laughs> if you didn't know. But once you add in the cheese, it gets a lot more thick, as you can see. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty damn delicious. It looks like Alfredo sauce. Yeah, it does. It's pretty thick. And it's good. Okay, so that's that's good to go. Cool. That's good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of this. I'm not cooking anything. I'm just putting everything back in this pot. So I'm just going to get all of my pasta back in here. I'm going to pour my cheese sauce right over. And then the shrimp, the shrimp and juices. with all the juices. We want the juices you in. Want the juices. And I'm just gonna mix this all up. That's what good pussy sounds like. Lahmar, <laughs> boy, that's fucking good. Boy, oh, boy, 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 boy. Boy. I'm putting down olive oil so it doesn't stick when we bake it. If you wanted to, you could just eat this right now. This next step is for, you know, the people that want to go above and beyond in the kitchen. I know we just, <laughs> we just keep putting our pasta in different places, but it's gonna go into a third container now. <laughs> and I'm gonna transfer this in here. We're gonna put half of our pasta in here. Kind of spread it around a little bit. Now we're gonna sprinkle some mozzarella on top. Okay, that's good. And now you're gonna put your other half 
on top of your cheese. This is not healthy for you, by the way, if anyone cares. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna spread this out again. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we set our oven to 350 degrees, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna stick our thing in, our Alfredo bake, for 15 minutes, or until it's like nice and golden brown on top. I would keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't like get too crispy. 15 minutes is usually the golden time, so I'll see you in 15 minutes. So it's been about 20 minutes actually, but this is what she looks like. Oh. What a she hottie. Looking bad. Mm, she looking bad. She looking thick. <laughs> yeah, it smells really, really good. We're gonna let this cool down a little bit. So this is my Alfredo bake. Um, I already tried a little bit and it's really good. <laughs> And I'm gonna eat it in front of you guys. I'm gonna try a little bit of the shrimp actually. It's so good. I'm proud of myself, Jacob. One bite. Yes. Really good. Mm-hmm. There you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you want to watch more stuff from me. If you do make this, let me know. Talk to me, comment, whatever. And if you want me to make something in the future, like I don't, I don't know, like something weird as fuck. Let me know in the comments. I will see you next time. I wish you all the best and I'll catch you guys later.